have within our hands, within our possession, the ability to actually change the course of where we're headed. Just look out at this lake. We'll see the lake rise throughout the week. It's certainly a welcome sight, but the fence say this is not about saving our drinking water. It's to save the beaches along the Colorado River. Lake Mead is the most extensive reservoir in the United States. With a stunning 20 million people relying on Lake Mead for drinking water and electricity, its importance was never in doubt. Still, this important reservoir is rapidly drying up. Lake Mead dried up and was declared cursed due to mostly manufactured reasons. However, due to a recent change of events, things are looking up for the residents of Colorado. Lake Mead's water level is gradually rising, which may soon become insurmountable, resulting in a flood. What is happening to Lake Mead and why is it drying up? In today's video, we'll explore how Lake Mead is rising fast and how it may cause record floods. So stick around. Lake Mead is a reservoir created by the Hoover Dam on the Colorado River in the southwestern United States. Lake Mead, a water supply for Hoover Dam, supplies water to the states of Arizona, California, Nevada, and parts of Mexico, sustaining nearly 20 million people and vast swaths of agriculture. The Lake Mead National Recreation Area has a plethora of activities and locations to visit all year. Its massive lake attracts paddlers, swimmers, sunbathers, and anglers, while the desert attracts trekkers, nature shooters, and wayside sightseers. Lake Mead National Recreation Area brings together three of America's four arid ecosystems, the Mojave, Great Basin, and Sonoran Deserts. Consequently, this apparently desolate region is home to an incredibly diversity of flora and creatures, some unique to the world. However, be cautious because a few dangerous creatures lurk around the area. Cougars, pumas, panthers, golden cats, catamounts, and a variety of other titles have been used to describe them. However, they are all mountain lions, and while encounters are uncommon, they live within Lake Mead Recreational Area. Bobcats are another deadly species that live in southern Nevada. While exploring, keep an eye out for snakes and frogs. As of March 8th, Lake Mead's water level was 1,046.55 feet. Water levels have increased marginally during the rainy season, but are not significantly above the lowest recorded point. It attained this altitude of 1,040 feet in July 2022. This is the lowest amount of water in the lake since it was built in the 1930s. The lake is vital to the neighboring towns, not only for water provisions, but also for energy generation. The Hoover Dam generates electricity from Lake Mead, serving 1.3 million people. If the lake's water levels continue to fall, it may hit a dead pool, the point at which water no longer flows past the barrier and generates energy. The Bureau of Reclamation, which tracks water levels, predicts that the lake's levels will continue to fall this spring. Experts estimate that the lake's waters could drop as low as 895 feet in a few years, making it impossible for water to move past the barrier. In the past, Lake Mead had a low water level almost immediately after its creation. Things would take a turn for the worse in April of 1937, when the lake's water level became a growing source of worry. It was on the verge of emptying up, and the only way to save it was to use water revitalization techniques and adopt environmental policies. The lake's state had deteriorated by 1999. Due to the water shortage and the growing burden of the draining lake, the drought had been prolonged. The adverse weather conditions also hastened the lake's demise as a water supply. Unfortunately, all the states where the lake provides water have experienced dryness in their linked territory. According to data, approximately 74 western states are affected by lake draining. In Colorado, 85% of the state is currently underwater. The soil pH level has become progressively greater, impacting plant development and abundant yields. Because of the battle to rely on natural nutrition, many plants and trees have wilted and farming production has dramatically decreased. Changing weather patterns have harmed the ecosystem all over the globe in recent years. Several policies have been implemented and various environmental protection practices are being pushed. The harm, however, has already been done and the next move forward is recovery. This is the situation. The rise in warmth has resulted in severe soil drought. The little wetness in the earth is sunken out, causing several soil fissures to expand around the lake. The little rainwater and precipitation from the Rocky Mountains have kept the water level stable over the past years of dryness. However, with the growing climatic variations, nature cannot repair the harm. Because of the lack of electric power delivery, 
The lake's diminishing water impacts domestic and industrial operations. The reservoir is used for more than just water provision. The Lake Mead Basin is an energy supply for approximately 38 million persons in the surrounding area. This is a large community that is reliant on an unreliable water supply. The lake has been used for irrigation, cultivation, and other agricultural operations in the southwest from San Diego to Los Angeles, as well as hundreds of established farmlands along its route. It's no wonder the lake is emptying due to climate change, water transfer, and the southwest's lingering drought. The area's growing population is the primary reason for the lake's drought. The lake is unlikely to recoup from floods, according to different accounts from geology specialists and academics. The river's water flow has been declining for far too long. Recovery may take additional time and may need to be more effective. Many specialists stated in interviews that the drought and dehydration of the river would only deteriorate over time, causing an uncontrolled expansion of badlands. The severe drought of the lake has served as a wake-up call for the residents of Colorado. Water saving and control strategies have been strengthened. If it did, the odds of water recovery would be more significant than ever. The remnants of the hopeful lake have devastated Colorado State's prosperity, states beyond its boundaries, and farmers who rely on it. There was a significant increase in Lake Mead's soil health and condition following the 2020 endeavor of lakes rehabilitation by building low-level bumps. According to current accounts, the endeavor could have been more successful in July 2022. The lake's water is gradually reverting to its initial level. What caused the lake's condition to change? Is it a long-term beneficial recovery? Despite the chance of the drought not being avoided, the increase in Lake Mead's water level has dramatically eased the lives of millions in Arizona, California, and Nevada. However, the boost made an impact. In its first time, the lake's water level has risen in three years. The lake has been exposed to runoff and dehydration due to the severe drought in the southwest of the United States. There's a new update. According to the Drive Watch usage data, Nevada's drought classification has shifted to 0% with a 24% chance of severe drought. When the lake hit its lowest point, Arizona, California, and Nevada authorities decided on a repair plan. According to the Bureau of Reclamation, the proposed plan, a $200 million fund to finance a diving pool that will be used to supplement Lake Mead's water level. The strategy also provides for freshly created water conservation devices. Beneficiaries were to discharge temporary water and control of it. This technique stops total water discharge and lowers the demand on the lake. The proposal also involves water conservation, with the yearly savings of approximately 326,000 liters in the lake. With this strategy, there's much less chance of complete water loss or earth drying out due to a shortage of wetness. U.S. President Joe Biden is also said to have taken a joint decision on infrastructure regulation. This $8.3 billion investment tackles water and climate issues in the Southwest water and power infrastructure and rebuilding old projects to accommodate shifting weather. There's also a $4 billion Inflation Act to support water management and protection initiatives in the Colorado River Basin. Despite a 27% point rise in Lake Chad's water level, it remains significantly lower than its initial level. However, a rise in whatever degree is required at the time. According to study data, Lake Mead's water depleted by December 1, 2022 was 1,042.97 feet above sea level. The sea level rose by 1,046.99 feet on February 1, 2023. This is due to the recent rise in rains and the thawing of Rocky Mountain snow in the river valley. The lake's water supply is described as ordinary, though it is a significant increase over the previous conditions of an unlucky 23-year drought. The high soil's response is said to be sensitive. Although an average water level differs from what is not intended with rising heavy rains, there is also the possibility of spilling water, resulting in inundation in the region. In a nutshell, the water volume must be proportional enough to fulfill its purpose without becoming an unreliable source of environmental danger. If the lake is full, it should convey water to its streams, stripes, and other lakes rather than filling up and spilling. According to projections, the lake's water level will fall on September 2023. The land path is said to be a primary source of the unavoidable. According to the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation, water will be about 20 feet below its present elevation. Millions will flock to the electric power grid when the water eventually runs out because the lake's dam generators can't produce enough energy. The most concerning impact of Lake Mead's fall is the severe water crisis that the entire southwest United States will experience. Due to natural issues, the property would be unusable. Water-aligned companies will collapse and many assets will be lost. 
water-saving measures and supporting water preservation and management, with many of these laws and policies being widely enacted due to Lake Mead's state's urgency. The research findings on whether Lake Mead would be chock full again are still hotly disputed. There is a possibility based on theory. However, if the rate of decline remains unchanged and the reasons for the river basin drought are not addressed, the odds are very low. Lake Mead has about 15 years before it can be declared deceased, and there is still hope for recovery. There is far too much to be done to save the industry. Lake Powell, another Colorado River region, is in the same condition, with no backup to fall on until untamed Lake Mead recovers. All attempts are being made to the greatest extent possible. River areas have risen to the summit of government leaders' priority lists. The importance of the rising water level is encouraging. According to reports, there is still time to take action to restore Lake Mead to health. Although the techniques are a long-term objective that may or may not be effective, the only choice is to continue. Too many people's livelihoods and businesses are at stake. Despite the fact that the future of Colorado and nearby states that share this water supply is uncertain, agreements and strategies can help a lot. Officials and experts are working to improve Lake Mead's effectiveness. And we've come to the end of today's video. Please share your thoughts and concerns about Lake Mead's future. Take care.